Welcome back. You're watching NDTV Profit. And as we mentioned, we are going to bring you a sneak peek into RBI's Monetary Museum. Did you know that the one rupee note is the only note which is printed by the government of India and not RBI? And it does not carry the signature of the RBI governor, but actually the signature of the finance secretary. Like this particular story, there are many stories which the RBI's Monetary Museum holds as far as Indian coins and various notes are concerned. NDTV's Yogesh Tamle got us this exclusive report. Look who's back. The one rupee note. After 20 long years and it hasn't changed. Except for the pink green color that was blue earlier. The only note to be printed by the government of India and not the RBI, the rupee note bears the finance secretary's signature. With the generation evolving during the note's absence, the RBI has a showcase of how money evolved over to millennia at its monetary museum in Mumbai. On display, this strip of silver found in Afghanistan, dating back to the 6th century BC. An instrument of sovereignty, the rulers imposed their currency on new territories won, like the Satvahana coin that had a clover-like design, which was beaten onto the coins of the Kshatrapa kings vanquished by the Satvahanas. In the medieval ages, Mughal rulers too took their coinage seriously. Jahangir also issued coins with his own portrait. Now, these coins gave rise to a lot of criticism amongst the orthodox, and when Jahangir's reign came to an end, the coins were, they, the coins were withdrawn and were melted. So these coins are reasonably rare and very precious. Queen Noor Jahan too found her mention on Jahangir's coins. The Farsi lines read, with Noor Jahan's name branded on this coin, it has gained a hundred beauties. On the other hand, Emperor Akbar depicted Hindu deities on his coins. But it was the Britons who brought paper money. Watermark, a popular safety feature once, can be traced back to 1860s. The language panel had eight prominent languages and the Chinese script also existed on Indian notes in the 19th century. For an important zone there, we used even Chinese script along with Tamil and Burmese script. Because Tamil Chetias were fam famous there and then they were, uh, were doing all business, the uh, international business over there, then th that's why Tamil was also included in the Rangbin circle. Indian banknotes also depict modern history. Depictions of jungle and fauna soon made way to temples of modern India. To the green revolution by peasants and workers, with a satellite on its two rupee note, Indian currency zoomed into the 20th century. The return of the one rupee note would bring back many memories, but there's more to Indian currency that is also a vivid archive of a 2000 year old history and ultimately the consolidation of the modern territories and languages under the British territory. To hear how money speaks, do pay one visit to the Monetary Museum in Mumbai. In Mumbai, camera person Dinesh Mahimane, Yogesh Damle for NDTV. Well, with this, it's a wrap out here on NDTV Profit. Of course, we'll come back to you tomorrow morning at 8.30 with new stocks and new ideas for you with all the news and analysis as far as the markets are concerned.